Stuart, three points today here at Easter Road. Did that one feel good? Yeah, it was great, Scotty. I think, uh, especially after the first 45 minutes, I um, always want to be brutally honest, I felt we kind of hung in there. Um, I, thought, I thought we were a wee bit standoffish. I felt that we, we know they've got good athleticism, good ball carriers. Uh, you know, you look at the likes of Hoylet, very creative, uh, very tricky. And then I feel we, we, we kind of knocked any walls down to go and turn the ball over. I felt we, we kind of allowed them into our final third to cross or to shoot or to try and play a, uh, a final pass. Um, but then second half I thought we addressed that right at the start of the half Zach Robinson's pressure on the goalkeeper and then obviously uh, a bit of pressure out on the left hand side and you just felt that we got a lift from it um, and I thought we showed a wee bit more of what we've been over the over the course of the season but you know you're going to have to suffer a wee bit when you come to places like this I spoke about how big they make the pitch and they try and attack you in wide areas um, but just massively proud of the group that we've been able to show enough character and enough quality to get another what is massive three points for us You've spoken about the squad you have at your disposal this year once again it looked like the substitutes really did have an impact on the game again is that just something that it's just for a manager and from your perspective it's just really good to have yeah we, we say it's a headache but it, it really does give me a little bit of freedom at the side of the pitch to be able to throw in quality players um, there'll be one or two that sit there a bit frustrated and I, I address that again after the game I speak to the group um, I, I get that but the one thing I tell you Scotty we have having that bigger group of players and more options than what we had certainly last year um, that nobody's sulking nobody's feeling sorry for themselves they understand that the team's operating at a real good level picking up plenty of points being in a cup run or find ourselves in a cup run at this minute in time um, and when you get the nod and you get the, the, the shout it's, it's an age old thing you, you have to go and try and impress the manager you have to go and try and impress the away fans as it were today uh, and make an impact on the game if you don't get your opportunity you go back to the drawing board and you go and work hard again as of Monday as we'll do um, so no it's, it is a simple formula um, but I'm especially pleased with the impact I've been getting since the start of the season um, I know like say we Davor comes off at half time spoke to him just after the game it's nothing personal, far from it, he's a he's a combat of midfield player that turns the ball over um, and he's on a yellow card and I just think in the modern day, and he understands that uh, the modern day that Tom Sparrow has to come on and give us the impact that he did I thought he was excellent when he came on um, but there's so many Scott that are performing at a real high level you know, reference the goalkeeper again comes up with big stops at big moments in the, in the game um, and then even going back round the houses, Stephen O'Donnell makes a, a mistake for the goal, you know, let's let's have it right, he makes a, mist a mistake for the goal, first guy to hold his hands up, first guy to be disappointed, but he's been so reliable for me since i come into the football club, he's been, he sort of epitomises what I want in football players, just being somebody you can lean on, somebody that thinks about the game, somebody that tries to help younger players and performs to a high level, um, but I think if if you run it back and you look at it again, you'll see the rest of the group start to get round them, high five them, pick them up, uh, a little bit of kick in the backside and let's go again, you know, let's, let's get after again and um, I think that's what gets us across the line and that's what gets us the three points Six wins out of seven joint third in the table as it stands I know we don't look at the table this early on in the season but in terms of where this team is at is it as good as it could be? <laughs> Possibly, I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be the perfectionist again and come back and say that there's been a couple of a couple of points dropped in there that I thought we possibly could have got a little bit more. I, I don't get lost in it. I don't get lost in that. I probably go away into my house and think about those things more so than when I'm uh, dealing with the group and dealing with the football club. Um, but again, I'm always striving for perfection. That doesn't make me any different from anybody else. Um, but what I can say is that from a lot of doubts and a lot of um, you know kind of what ifs and people uh, wondering you know how you're going to change when you replace certain players that we lose and all the rest of it we've gave ourselves a good start in that that's what we've done and it's only a start um, I've got plenty of motivation I think you'll probably tell when I speak a lot of time that uh, I've got so much motivation but so is the players they're climbing the walls to get out and play on a Saturday they're desperate to get out on the pitch and show what they can do in training sessions and I think if you have that motivator if you have that drive about you um, we'll all carry each other along that we've not achieved anything go back to it Scotty we've not done anything at this point other than give ourselves a good start in the, in the league campaign and we've given ourselves and our fans are running the cup competition and something to look forward to um, but you know a little bit of rest but plenty of work next week uh, to make sure that we're ready to go again because I don't want to just kind of get patted in the back and say that it's a good start I want to actually try and carry something through and find a level of consistency which I believe uh, can make football clubs successful simple as that if you're if you're happy in your work after seven games and you and you can rest on that then I'm not so sure that you you should be in this sport and in this game thanks for your time Stuart well done cheers Scott